In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Fade Relief tool within ArtCam Insignia. Here you can see I've imported some clip art from the clip art library and I'm going to create a fade on this. So if I click here for Fade Relief, this opens up the Fade Relief dialog box. We have a fade strength percentage here. You can also adjust that using the slider bar. This basically controls the amount of fade that you're going to be using. You also have a fade type, linear, radial and between boundaries. I'm going to go through each one of these just to show you what they are. And I'm going to create a linear to begin with. If I turn on my vectors you can see I've created a couple of circles and I'm going to select the outside circle. I'll take a plan view of this just so I can drop some crosshairs on here. And here you can see I have fade from and fade to. A linear is just basically a straight fade. So if I click fade from and I'll fade from let's say the center. I can also type in my figures here let's say zero, 0, if I wished and I'm going to drop this crosshair down to round about there on the bottom right hand side if I click create you can see it's faded out just down to that part there I could undo that and if I wish to I could change that to let's say there so it's fading from the top left down to the bottom right and click create so there you can see it's just faded all of that down I'll just undo that and I'm going to show you what a radial one is make sure that the outside vector is still selected and I'm going to do this from the center so I'll type in a coordinate of 0, 0 again I could just grab the crosshair if I wish and drop that down onto the part Let's do it at zero, 0, and click Create. Now you can see that that's dropped the relief down and faded out from the center out to the circle that I've created as a radial fade. I'm going to undo that because what if I wanted to just create a partial fade? I didn't want to fade any of the inside form on the relief select the outside vector and select the inside vector click between boundaries and then select create fade what this will do it will create a fade from the two boundaries so it's not fading anything on the inside of the smaller circle so that's basically the fade tool